Could the Free National Movement be looking to make up with one of its old members? The party held a press conference today with party leader Dr. Hubert Minnis responding to a question on whether or not the party is looking to woo Democratic National Alliance leader Branville McCartney back to the party. We welcome individuals into that tent. Political parties can only win governments if their tent continues to expand. You lose individuals in that tent and you must continue to gain. It's a constant flow. It's open to all. And it will remain open to all. We do not send specific letters to anybody. It's an open tent. Meantime, the Free National Movement leader and Killarney MP, Dr. Minnis, has also responded to comments made by Minister of State for National Security, Senator the Honorable Keith Bell, on the confiscated assets fund. Dr. Minnis also outlined alleged claims of corruption by the Progressive Liberal Party during the 2012 election campaign. We'll have more on that later. Senators concluded debate on that resolution thanking the Governor General for delivering the speech from the throne. Among them was former diplomat and now Senate Vice President Joseph Curry, who admonished senators to uphold the long-held traditions of the chamber. I wish to see decorum and maturity in debate return to the Senate. It should not be a place to pull down others, but to build up. We, who are privileged to be senators, are held to a higher standard of conduct in here. This is the upper chamber. And we are referred to as honorable senators. The people expect and demand that we govern ourselves in decency and order. And former Minister of State in the Ministry of Finance, Senator the Honorable Shivago Lang, who while agreeing with the government's priorities, said he would love to see a commission of inquiry on monetary payments made during the elections. Senator Lang said he believes the government will have some difficulty delivering on its promises, in some cases legal ones, as would be the case in the East and West Grand Bahama initiatives because of the Hawksbill Creek Agreement. Blaming us? criticizing us for what we did or did not do, calling us names, will not fill the bellies of the hungry promised food, will not put clothes on the cold who were promised warmth. You got to deliver in order for people to receive benefits. Senator Desmond Bannister had some concerns about various parts of the speech from the throne, including the referendum a national, on a national lottery, that is. He wanted to know why a referendum on a national priority was, national lottery, pardon me, was a priority, and why members of the government understand the, and if they understand the implications of reviewing the options on decriminalizing web shop gaming. In doing so, the government is clearly saying that the operation of web shop gaming in the Bahamas is a criminal activity. And as such, it is illegal. In those circumstances, it is incumbent upon the government to respond quickly to allegations that they received a substantial campaign contribution from a prominent web shop operator. Now, no one from the government responded to the questions or allegations, but in wrapping up the debate, government leader in the Senate, the Honorable Allison Maynard Gibson, said that the FNM stopped the urban renewal program as established by the PLP for purely petty political reasons. Senator Gibson also criticized the FNM for taking credit for all of the projects left by the PLP, including the library at the College of the Bahamas, the National Stadium, and the Lyndon Pinling International Airport, while not a acting one major foreign investor during its five-year term. But she told the FNM senators that they had a wonderful opportunity to demonstrate their commitment to uplifting the Bahamian people. So let us come together, engage in healthy and sometimes heated debate, and recognize that the people of the Bahamas on the 7th of May, 2012, expressed their wish that the Progressive Liberal Party, led by the Right Honorable Perry Gladstone Christie, will lead this country for the next five years. They bought into this vision, the Charter for Governance, Vision 2030. This is not going to be accomplished in five years. It's a long-term vision. And we ask honorable members on the other side, 
irrespective of what your colleagues do in the other place. Please join us in nation building for the benefit of the Bahamian people. Now also contributing were Senators Alex Storr, Heather Hunt, Cheryl Wizard, Julian Russell, and Tanisha Tynes. On adjournment, Senators paid tribute to the late banker Al Jarrett. Senators Frank Smith, Tanisha Tynes, and Heather Hunt were chosen to advise the government, the, the government of the Senate's assent to the resolution thanking the Governor General for the speech from the throne. The Senate has adjourned sine die. Meantime, the House of Assembly begins debate tomorrow on the budget, and as usual, you can watch all of the proceedings on the parliamentary channel. Some vendors at the Arawak Quay are outraged over a garbage pileup at the fish fry. The road just behind the main stretch of restaurants is home to one garbage container which has been overrun with trash. On Tuesday morning, piles of garbage could be seen lining the area. Proprietor of Water Cafe, Dwight Ambrister, says it's an eyesore and health hazard that's been affecting business. There are several problems here. One, one is that some vendors uh, are allowing their, their tenants to, or their, their employees to put the garbage out there. Obviously, that is a problem. The other problem is, is that sometimes the bins are overflowed. Uh, long weekends or holidays, that kind of stuff, you get an overflow. And so when the bins are picked up, some slide off and stuff like that. And there's nobody seemingly out here uh, to clean it up. And so it, it, it swells and swells, and now it, it's a problem now where it's out of hand again. But more, more, more so, uh, 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 tenants out here cannot just deliberately throw their garbage out here and leave them there. Uh, they have to have some way of containing it until the bins are in place. Now, owner of Twin Brothers, Buddy McCarty, says it's an ongoing problem, and it got so bad that he had to hire someone to help clean up the area. Driving in the back here, I saw the garbage that is in a mess. My business place is right here, and I, I said I could not allow that to continue for another day because people are passing by, seeing the garbage here, and, you know, when it comes to my business, it's important. And cleanliness to me is, 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 is first, top. And so I said I would get a guy to come and try to clean up for us, and not just for me personally, but I'm doing it for all of our vendors out there. You know? manager at Arawak Key who acknowledged the garbage problem. He said that there's a private arrangement for collecting the trash and it's dumped daily, but there is not enough manpower nor resources to consistently police the area. Russell said a big part of the problem is people dumping who have no business interest at Arawak Key. He said, however, emergency measures were taken today to clean up the area. It's time for today's Doctor's Hospital Health Tip. Sometimes your skin likes it better when you slather on your vitamins rather than swallow them. To give your skin a youthful glow, experts recommend trying the topical versions of these vital vitamins. Vitamin A. Derivatives of vitamin A, known as retinoids, may be the only reliable wrinkle fighter on the skincare market. Retinoids also help repair sun damage and prevent the development of actinic keratosis a type of precancerous skin growth. Tretinoin is the prescription strength version of this skin helper, but there are some milder over-the-counter creams and lotions that contain retinol. Look for vitamin C. This antioxidant vitamin stimulates your skin's production of collagen and elastin fibers, making it firmer and more elastic. To give your skin a solid dose of C, look for products that contain at least 10% concentration of L-ascorbic acid. Vitamin C may also work from the inside out. Vitamin E. Also a potent antioxidant, E can help slow down the formation of wrinkles and improve the performance of your sunscreen. To get the most benefit from these nutrients, apply the products at night right before you hit the sack. Sunlight helps to reduce their strength. So be sure to join us Thursday, June 21st, 6 p.m. in the Doctors Hospital Conference Center for the Distinguished Lecture Series. Dr. Rashmi Anwala, a dermatologist, will discuss management of eczema in all ages.